listen. If you want cheap and reliable free 40 no limit team coins for all platforms, check out MMOJ, link will be in the description. Also in the description is a video proving they are legit. Hey guys, it's Melvin7 here and today I've got a market crash team. Uh, it's going to be 8,700 coins, so it's very, very affordable and I'm not kidding you. It's my favourite team I've ever built on FIFA 14. It is so overpowered, so fun to use. It's actually made FIFA 14 fun again. It is so good. Um, yeah, I'll just run you through the team and how much it costs. So in there we've got Helden, he cost me 850 coins. Two centre backs are going to be Otamendi and Mangala. Uh, oh, for God's sake, not Skirtle, Mangala. Um, Otamendi cost me 750 and Mangala cost me 750. Right back is going to be Descigglio, uh, he cost me 650. Left back is going to be Ansaldi, and obviously he was a rare in FIFA 12 and 13, but now he's a non rare, so he only cost me 500 coins. Two centimeters are going to be Witzel, and the other one is Montari. Montari cost me 350, so ridiculously cheap, considering every single one of his six stats are in the 70s, which is ridiculous. Uh, it's really, really good. And Witzel cost me 850, and again, I think all his stats, yep. Apart from dribbling, which is 84, every single stat is in the 70s, so beast centimeters there. CDM is going to be D4. Uh, he cost me 400. I mainly got him for chemistry reasons, but he is actually really, really good in CDM. And he was a default CDM, so I didn't need to buy any position cards. Left wing is going to be Murdens. He cost me 900. Right wing is going to be... Oh, for fuck's sake, it's not going to be Walcott. It's going to be Nyan. He cost me 400. Absolute beast. And then the best player on the team, and one of my favourite players of all time on this FIFA, Nyan Golan. He is so good. He cost me 1,600 and 250 for a centre attack and made the centre forward card. This guy <coughs> is just unbelievable. I'll go through in the highlights how good he is, but honestly, he's one of my favourite players. If you have not tried him, please try him out. He is just so overpowered. I know the Mr. AC definitely thinks he is as well because he's used him, but I love this formation. It's the first time I've ever used 4-3-3 brackets 5, and I'm not kidding you. It is so good. I don't know if it's the team, if it's the formation, what the fuck it is, but it is so good. I will go through just how good it is while the highlights are playing. So yeah, I hope you do enjoy these highlights. Right, so this team, oh my god, is unbelievable. Every single player, outfield player, has scored at least one goal. And Nyan Golan, he j I don't understand what it is. He just seems to like get past defenders. He can pass, he can head. I mean, that was a good through ball by Nyan. But... The interchanges between Niang, Nangolan and Mertens, look at that, again, Niang. But, as I say, the interchanges were just so good. Witzel, absolutely brilliant. I mean, I caused this opponent to leave, I think, um, after 3-0. Like, literally, there's not one position on this field that isn't filled by a brilliant player. And Saldi gets up, but then it, like, it doesn't seem to affect the defence, because Mangala and Otamendi are just so good in defence. One of them has pace, Mangala, the other one... Otamendi just stays back even further. Like, I've had a couple of red cards, but it didn't really matter. Like, literally, whoever had the ball, usually there's in every team there's one player that I just like to pass it straight away because I uh, don't like them. Like, I think they're pretty poor, but on this team, any player can score. They're just so deadly. As I say, Nangol, an absolute beast. He just, whenever someone's coming in for a tackle, he just somehow jumps over it, he, or, like, he already knows where they're coming in, so he's already pre-done it. His passing is exquisite, his shooting, that was a pretty funny uh, penalty by the way, but his shooting, his dribbling, his strength, look at that though. Like how he's managed to get through in that highlight, um, and then it's a bit lucky like to make it 5-1, but you know, I had some big results this game against Ant, um, I only lost two, sorry, three games, but two of them went to extra time. This one goes to extra time. It is a brilliant game, probably the best one I've played with this team. But yeah, I've lost three games, two of them went to extra time, so to be honest, I would count them as draws because you've had to play extra time. One of them went to, well to be honest, no, both of them I lost in extra time, so maybe after 90 minutes this team kind of wears off a bit, but trust me, it is just fabulous. I mean, you saw the team I've had, it's this, uh, one with, in, uh, with Suka. And uh, honestly, such a good game. So I, w I played 13 games, won 10. I'm going to say lost three, but two of them are technically a draw. Look at that, Nangolin. 
he, he just runs onto it and then a ridiculous finesse finish. I don't know how he manages to slot that past the keeper. But as you can see, it's 5 5. Nangoran again. Look at that. The post. It's so unlucky. And then look at this. It's going to be nine goal in again, I can remember this one. Vitzel, I was really surprised how poor star skill, absolute beast. But a finessed chip and, and clears it off the line. And then I come up against this team, a silver skill team, so a Briskilba team. And I just fucking dominate this team. I mean, I just love it. Nine goal, oh no, this is Mertens. Crossing it in, Vitzel with the head. I love Vitzel. On this game, I don't really like Fellaini, I've played him alongside Witzel, and Witzel seemed a bit poor in that team, but in this team, Witzel, 4-star skill, 3-star weak foot, look at that by Mertens, absolute beast, but yeah, uh, Witzel just overpowered, he's so good in midfield, it's just ridiculous, and as you can see, Nayan with another brilliant goal, most of his goals were brilliant, and another opponent that's been forced to leave, <laughs> I just can't praise this team enough, look at this, okay, that team, Ozil, Yaya Toure, Van Persie, Rooney, Company, William, Navas, the whole shebang of the uh, Premier League, nine goal and bursts through 1-0. <laughs> and then, 36th minute, as you can see, Witzel, finesse, goal, 2-0. Free kick, and now it's an Otamendi header, 3-1. <laughs> and then nine goal and look, this is what I mean, look, he takes it around two players, anticipates, takes it around three, fair enough he gets tackled here, but he does well to win the ball back, then he runs past, has a shot, it's deflected, Nyang, and then that's a bit lucky to make it 4-1, but you know, still, it's a 4-1 win against that brilliant BPL team, and then, a kind of slightly underpowered one now, but it's still got storage and David Luiz and things like that, but yeah, Nyang to Nangolan, 1-0. <laughs> I had so much fun with this team, this guy decides to leave after 1-0 though, so God knows why. But yeah, a traditional team where you would expect them to head it in with Negrado and Sturridge, a BPL team again. Then Golan again runs onto it, manages to get the through ball. Mertens takes it around the keeper, 1-0. Again, in about the 10th minute. Nearly every game I was scoring in the 10th or the 11th minute. Mangala header from a nine goal in corner. And yeah, that's all the highlights I've got. I think that ends 2-0. But yeah, if you have enjoyed them, please do hit the like button. And please, please do go out and build this team. You will have so much fun. It is so good. Uh, 8,700 coins, surely you've got the coins for that, but yeah, please subscribe if you haven't already, and yeah, remember to check out MMOJ, link will be in the description for Team Reliable, FIFA 14 Ultimate Team Coins, and yeah, peace, have fun with this team please, because I had so much, it's so good, peace.